The next topic that we're covering in the series that we're doing, playlist link below the like button, is forms of differential equations. We're going to do the three examples, and I'm going to explain differential form, normal form, and standard form. Those are the three forms you need to know. So what is differential form? Differential form, we'll do this one first. It's where we have our dx and dy separate. So to explain this, we're going to multiply everything by dx, and you'll see what I mean. Multiplying everything by dx, you're going to get a 2x dx plus a y dx plus 3x dy. Notice how dy and dx, which were previously together, are now separated. And this is going to be equal to 0. Now, to really put it in this differential form, we can group things together. So we'll have 2x plus y, and then we'll have our dx outside plus 3 dy is equal to 0. This is our differential form. Now, let's not forget about our normal form as well. And what is the normal form? The normal form is how you typically look at things, where we have our dy and dx, or dx and dy together. So we want to have dy dx together, but by itself. So what we're going to do is move everything over to the other side. Let's start by subtracting everything first. So we are going to have a negative 4, and we're going to have a negative 2x, we're going to have a negative y, and this is all going to be over a 3x if we divide it out, and we can set this to be equal to our dy dx. And this is our normal form. So what's the normal form of this next one? Well, the normal form of this next one, again, it's like we were doing previously. Let's just divide everything by d of x, and then move everything over to the other side, because that's what we got to do. So dividing everything by dx, we are going to get an x squared plus y, and then we are going to have dy over dx, and this is equal to 0. So moving everything over, we'll just have a negative x squared over y, and this is equal to dy over dx. So that's going to be the normal form, and that's the differential form. Hopefully you're pretty familiar with that now, and we can move on to standard form. This is the last one that we're going to be doing. So with standard form, all we want is to have the highest order derivative first. Let's look at this first one here. For standard form, we want obviously dy dx to be in first. And we only have one differential part of our equation right here, this part. So that's all we have to put in front. We don't really want anything touching it either. So let's divide everything by 3x before we do that. We'll have a 2 over 3 plus a y over 3x plus a 4 over, and then we'll have our 3x is equal to 0. It's kind of ironic that I said our dy dx needs to be in front, and I did everything else first. But I left enough space here to where I can just put dy dx in front. So this is what we're going to look like. Um, if we want to make it a little bit simpler, we can combine some things. So dy over dx plus 2 over 3 plus y plus 4 over 3x is equal to 0, but that's just simplifying. You get the point. For this next one, remember, if we have an exponent in parentheses, that means we have a differential part. So this is really, right here, we can say it's x squared times d cubed y over dx cubed. That's the differential equation equivalent. So this needs to be in front by itself. And then we also have this y double prime. So that needs to be next by itself. We want the front one to be completely naked, so divide everything by x squared. We're going to have a y triple prime plus a y double prime over x squared minus y over x squared is equal to 3 over x squared. And this should be, well, yeah, that's, that's pretty much fine. One important part, though, before we get to the end of this video, we want our standard form to be all on one side. Negative three over x squared should be equal to zero. That's an important part. Standard form, highest order derivative first, and I'll say, and right side should be zero. So that's our standard form. This is our normal form. This is our normal form and the differential form. So those are the three forms of differential equations.